Yo, what's going on YouTubers? Pumpy Man here. Uh, just doing another little video and uh, got a little thing that I picked up here just about six months ago. I've been trying it out and it was kind of a little confusing at first, but once I got it figured out, it did kind of work really well and I'm, I'm really amazed with it, honestly. It was pretty cheap and it helped me out a bunch. As you guys know, I switched up my camera setup, um, running 4K, uh, the Sony ZV-1. I invested quite a bit in the camera. It's a pretty solid camera. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of bells and whistles. Much, much different than the GoPro that I used to run. Um, I actually just sold my GoPro to a buddy. He had one and actually dropped it in the lake and was looking for another one. Didn't want to spend the... I think they're around 300 or whatever. So I sold him mine pretty decent price. And the only thing that I don't like... Well, I mean, it's alright for what I do. But if you're going to shoot long videos or like huge basically megapixel stuff like that 4k video on this camera it drains the battery super super fast um, I'd say an average time on a full battery like I can charge the battery full and if I'm shooting in 1080 it runs a long time believe it or not but in 4k it drains it fast it's just part of it and it's just got to get around it um, now I was gonna buy some extra batteries but batteries are about 50 bucks a piece, uh, 40 to 50. And you can buy some aftermarket batteries, which are cheaper. You can get a three pack for around 35 bucks, somewhere around in there. And they work, um, but they still run about the same time. You only get about 30 minutes um, on the main battery, like the actual one from Sony. And on the aftermarket, you get a little less than that, which is, which is okay, because you can just swap out batteries. But I didn't want to have to keep swapping out batteries. And I found a little thing, because I just use my Sony ZV-1 for my, basically my setup here in my room. You guys always know the background in my room. And uh, the battery does go dead kind of quick. I mean, 20, 30 minutes. And if you leave it set for a while or forget to turn it off, it's dead, like, <laughs> super fast. Yes, I do that a lot. Um, but I found a little trick to fix it. And what it is, I'll go ahead and show you. I actually have it hooked up right now. Um, hopefully you can see that just fine. This is the Anchor Power Core 10,000. It's a 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank, basically, for charging cell phones and all kinds. It's got some dust on it, but uh, stuff like that. You can charge your cell phones, your tablets, and you can charge your camera with it. Or you can. Sony has a feature which I didn't know until I researched it, and it's one thing you can do to help save battery life. Well, what you do is you fully charge your ZV-1. And if you have this one, it has to be a power bank that runs at 5 amps. And this so happens to do that, the 10,000 milliamp anchor power cord does that. So what you do is you have a setting for USB power. And what it does is once you go in through the menu and turn that on in your camera, there's multiple videos showing how to do this. I'm not going to show it on like actually showing how you do it on the camera itself. You just go into the settings and switch it from just regular battery power to USB. So anytime a USB is plugged into it, um, and you can run the USB from the camera straight into like a regular, um, like a little wall warp thing like this, or you can plug it into a laptop or like my M1 Mac Mini, something like that. But if you're on the go and you don't have access to this, what you can do is you just basically have a fully charged power core 10,000, and you plug it in and once the battery's fully charged on the camera and I plug this in that basically gives me like right around eight and a half to nine full batteries worth of charge for the camera and what it does is it bypasses the internal battery in the camera and runs directly from the anchor power core which is pretty solid and that's why I picked this up and to pick one of these up is around 25 bucks. I found it on sale for like $22 on Amazon. And I'm a Prime member, so I got free shipping and all that, which was a pretty good deal. They run anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks. But investing 25 bucks, now my camera went from going dead in 20 to 30 minutes running videos. Now it goes eight to ten or eight to nine times longer. <laughs> so basically this took the single battery that goes dead in 20 30 minutes and now it'll run quite much longer so it's basically having eight times that amount of battery power and lengthwise and then once that's dead it runs completely off the power bank 
once the power bank goes dead then it switches to the internal battery so it's even longer so basically around 10 times the battery length and time of recording or whatever that I don't have to fiddle with stuff swap out batteries hook up a dummy battery or something like that I didn't want to do that and reach keep recharging the other batteries all I have to do is plug this in and it works pretty well I'm running it off of it right now and once you do the settings you'll see on the battery itself it shows the battery and the charge level and then it'll show a little plug-in right beside it that shows that it's actually plugged into something so it's not actually running on the internal battery the whole camera and the video I'm doing right now is running off this power core the thing's pretty solid comes with a little carrying case and well like a little bag that it goes in with a lanyard on it I never use it like I said I don't take it out anywhere hardly I do sometimes um, but I don't carry it in the bag honestly I just throw it in my pocket or throw it in my jacket or something and it's a pretty good way to boost up your battery power don't have to worry about like if you want to go out and record for four or five hours you're good to go just on one single charge of the anchor power core and it really helps out the basically helps out the camera in my opinion the only downfall of the camera is the battery because if you record in 4k if you guys know anything about 4k you know it drags the camera down fast it takes up a lot of memory and it kills the battery super fast so this is one little trick to get around it you can use different ones i chose this one because it was one that was really well rated it was cheap like i said 22 bucks is what i paid for it on amazon um and it guaranteed works with the zv1 and it is the five amp output that it needs to run basically fine on the zv1 and it will run on different sony cameras i'm sure it'll run on different cameras altogether. but i know it works on the sony zv1 and the zv10 um, and it works relatively well i've been using it on now this is actually the second video i've used it like that um and recorded just to check see how it is and it works pretty well like i said 22 bucks and you just eight or nine times your battery length and power so it's a pretty good little investment if you have a sony zv1 and you want to upgrade the battery this is a way to bypass it and it won't cut out and if you want to get technical with it you can like i have this sitting on a little tripod and if you wanted to take it out like a a vlogging camera i'm sure you can figure out a way to strap it to the tripod with you and there you go you have basically nine times the normal battery power that you would have instead of just one single battery you have to switch it out and all that uh, it's a pretty good little thing and if you guys are interested just check it out on amazon i'll leave a link down in the description if you guys are wanting one but it works with everything it charges my uh, iphone 11 works on my camera really well charges my tablet charges a lot of things charges some of my lights uh, i have some bog lights that are usb basically here's one of my olight cables um, and just plug it in there and it charges it just fine um, thing works pretty well like i said 22 bucks and it changes the whole outcome of your sony zv1 battery life so that's it if you guys are interested and in, you have a zv1 and you want to up your battery and save a little money that's the way to go i think let me know what you guys think thanks